Hey everybody, so I wasn't going to address this because I'm already planning on addressing it in the Netflix documentary. However, I keep getting comments like this in my lives and on my videos and I just kind of want to hurry up and nip it in the butt right quick. So, one, I don't need you to tell me if you're going to unfollow me. Just unfollow me. If you believe one side of the story, then, you know, by all means, unfollow me. Next, if you go to my Facebook page, which is Queen Lock 1989, there is a full video of me telling the story of how I had tried to stand up to my mother at 16 years old. The video that my mother had stitched was from a hate page showing a small clip of that video. Now, I have been honored to be a part of a documentary that will be on Netflix. You know, we don't have an exact date, but it will be called Almost Famous Almost. And it is a documentary about myself and a couple of other people as well, speaking of the time that I was little all the way up until now. One thing I will say is that my mother and I's relationship has been rocky since I was a teenager. And every time we think things are going great, there's something that always happens to pull us apart. So in the last 13 years, I may have been home maybe two or three times. And since being away from home, I have had a lot of traumatic experiences and experiences in general that are embarrassing or that my family did not know about. And they didn't really know about it until the last couple of years. The funny thing is, is that my mother apologizes for things, but she don't even realize what she's apologizing for on what really has hurt me. Because every time I've tried to address these things to her, she will cut me off or tell me things such as, if that's what you want to make yourself believe, Brittany, then that's you. But that's not how it is. So then it kind of just gets to a point where you just don't even want to address it no more and you just kind of let it go. One of the reasons why, you know, I had blocked my mother on social media through any kind of contact was the simple fact that I didn't know my mother and I was having problems until she put it out there on social media that we don't talk anymore. So that did hurt me and I was just kind of like, all right, cool bet. <laughs> I can make that happen for us. Another reason why I really don't care to have much contact with my mother whatsoever is because I have also found out that my mother, not only did she not believe that I was homeless just because I didn't tell her, but she also doesn't believe that I was raped. Now, I've dealt with that a lot with even being in the military and people not believing me. But to have your own family feel that way about you, too, that just that just reaches another level of toxicity for me. And I'm OK with keeping that kind of shit out of my life so yeah bye